Okay, I got this um, PC IT light, I K E L I T E. It's waterproofed uh, light, but uh, for whatever reason, I put um, six 1.5 volts batteries in here. It would not power off, power on. Um, you can see this switch is. Um, if I turn this switch to on this side, then this piece is contacting that. And then this is, um, so it will turn the light on. So right now the switch is on and I'm just gonna test it this way, okay? So what I did was instead of using the thin electric tape, I used the paint um, tape or the edge protection tape because this is why this is like why instead of this electric tape is only three quarters of an inch um, the first thing I do is and this is pretty good I, t I just tape them together so now um, I go to my uh, voltmeter nine volts this is 1.5 each I have four in here just like two in here two in here so that's six volts so I know this is the six volt slice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test, make sure this connection that I taped together is good. And you can see it's producing 6.36 volts, 6.37 volts. So I know um, these connections are, uh, are good because I taped it together. So it's producing 6.37 um, volts for the four batteries together 6.37 volts for the four batteries together and then uh, the next thing i want to do is um, i want to connect the positive to here and then negative to here um, i have this one wire with an alligator uh, clip so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click clip this alligator um, negative oops just like that okay and then I'm gonna let the positive touch the positive and you can see this flat light is super bright you can see and this this is negative I'm touching the end of this uh, battery stream and you can see the light, uh, light is very bright so I know the light bulb is good uh, it's the connection that's bad in here um, I think uh, positive has to face this way and the negative has to face you know inside so I'm gonna have to um, um, like you can see here you know that has a uh, uh, right uh, or uh, connection there you can see the it powers the light on uh, the light bulb on it's a very bright LED uh, waterproof LED battery so um, Make sure the connection inside here is good. You know, this uh, paint uh, edge is pretty good. So I'm uh, stripping this uh, apart. Okay. I'm uh, positive. You know, to touch the positive up here, this is the negative. So I'm going to put the negative in like that. Then I'm going to push it down. Actually, I need to lift this. Okay, lift it. Then I can put this in. See, right now it's in the on position, but the light is not on. So I know, um, this is very solid. 
not sure why this is not uh, powering uh, the light on. So I need a little metal piece here to power it on. So I'm going to get uh, aluminum foil. That's going to help uh, the contact. I just tape everything together and you can see it's working beautifully. And um, basically this uh, black wire is uh, hooking to this. Uh, right now this switch is on and uh, the battery is 6 volts. a little bit um, it's still a little bit of a constant problem but um, I'm gonna try to fix it now. So I'm taking the allig alligator wire off and taking the uh, paint uh, edge tape off so I can stick it in here. And the positive should face outside for the top one and the negative should face inside for the bottom ones. It takes four um, size C 1.5 volts battery so the total voltage is six volts. So Okay, so this uh Iki light uh waterproof uh, flashlight is very good except uh, when I uh put it in it's not going to um take a look, take a look. Let me put it in and the, the contact point is just not that great. Um it's just like something is um uh, not connecting anyway so let's uh, so we have to uh, increase the contact points look see I swipe this button to the on it just the light just will not go on so this is a aluminum foil it's uh, highly conducive with electricity so what we are going to do is we are going to um, try to fold this in and um, and then um, you know open this up and then um, and then uh, put the put the thing in there so hopefully it will uh, uh, increase the contact. You know, so let's do this. I don't know which side needs more uh, pressure, but uh, I'm just gonna test it out. Um, you know, maybe this side. Let's just do it on this side first. And, uh, oops. Anyway, put it on this side first, and maybe that's it. You know, so let's put it down and just see it didn't work. Okay, so it's not this side. So let's put it on this side. Maybe we need to put it on both sides, but for now, this is good. Oh, it didn't work either. So we know we need to um, increase the. Uh, the aluminum foil, you know, and then increase it on both sides. Increase the aluminum on both sides. I think this is plenty thick. This is gonna do a very good job here and here so let's just put it down there and uh, see what happened there and hopefully this time it's gonna work oh yeah we need to uh, slide this forward push it down hard mm. 
not how it works. Okay. Yeah. That's how you fix it. Yeah, this is aluminum foil. Um, that's how you fix it, and it's on 100% of the time. It's a um, four, C, um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four C size, 1.5 volts. So it's very powerful, you know. And um, as you can see, this aluminum foil um, took care of the problem. You know, before it wasn't contacting, and now it's contacting. See, you know, so beautiful. So that's how you fix it. You know, so. Thank you.